Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again on Drunken Sailor. It's still October, we're still thinking about apple cocktails, so we're going to kind of continue the theme. Um, we are blessed with an abundance of really, really fresh New York State apples here. So we have to figure out different ways to use them, and we're going to do that with something a little bit different than we've always than we normally do. Um, you've seen that we've made bourbon cocktails with apples and Trust me, I love bourbon and I love bourbon cocktails. So we're gonna try something a little bit different. Today we're going a little bit farther south. We're still using New York apples, but we're using tequila. So before we start, I just wanna thank everybody for subscribing to us and uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. If you just plain don't like it and you don't wanna leave us a comment, thumbs up, give us a like button. So with all that being said, Let's get pouring today's cocktail, Cider House Rules. We're going to start with a shaker. And you probably said Cider House Rules. Oh, there was a movie that name. Yes, there was. And that's what this cocktail is named after. We are going to start with an ounce and a half of Reposado tequila. And that is one of my favorite sounds. I've got a lot of favorites. We are putting one and a half ounces. And today we are using the Cabo Wabo Reposado. That's going in there. Next, we are going to use an ounce and a half of fresh apple cider. And this comes to us from the Beacon Skip Orchards here in town. Ounce and a half is going in there. Next, we're going to go a little citrus in there. We are going to use an ounce, or we're going to use a half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And we're using freshly squeezed because we all know fresh is best. So a half an ounce is going in there. Last but not least, as far as liquid ingredients, is agave syrup. And we are putting in there one quarter ounce of agave. And that's going in there. Finally, and this really is the last one going in there. And we're going to use about a quarter ounce of ground cinnamon. That's going in there. One large ice cube. That's going in there. We're going to pop the top on that shaker, and now we're going to give it a good shake to chill it down. I think we are ready to pour this one. Today we are going to use one large ice cube. We've got a nice little ice sphere in there. We're going to take straighten that out over the ice. Look at that. Oh. Finally, last but not least, the garnish. We are going to garnish with one wedge of apple. That's going on there. Give that a straw. And there you go. 